Okay, so I'm liking this how it turns out. So you can see the difference between what a non-aged versus the aged look. So I'm taking a chip brush, barely dipping it in. So again, I mixed the antiquing gel, a little bit of the black, and with some leftover cashmere white that I had. And I'm just literally dry brushing this on. Oh, no matter how many times I vacuum this floor or keep wiping it down, the stupid bad hair everywhere. And you gotta love the furry kids. Um, so I'm working really quickly and just getting a little bit more on. Sorry, my camera skills are not that great with holding this to do it. I'm trying to avoid the grout as much as I can. I can go back in later on with a brush and just redo the grout so it's a little bit brighter white. So as soon as I have that on and getting it to it, I have the scrub things. And these are the ones that actually can take finishes off and things like that. You actually use this um, for the surface prep for this paint for the all-in-one to really get a good deglosser. But as soon as I'm done with that, I am taking this and rubbing it all over to take some of the finish off and to scuff it. So it's getting into, as you can see, roughing it up a little bit. So it really looks like these are hand painted, hand tossed tiles and thrown, I guess is a better way of saying it, on there versus what it looks like as pure white, like too perfect. And I like that it's giving it a light glazed look. It's not as bold. Not that I don't love the green, but it's just giving it a little bit more of an aged appearance. And when I'm done with this, this does come, you gotta love all my mess here, with a water resistant sealer. So I don't know, I've never used this before, but you put down three coats and you wait three hours in between each coat and then you wait 72 hours before you get the floor wet to really cure it in. Um, so I'm assuming it probably has a little bit of maybe a satin finish to it. So it as a clear coat, it will probably brighten this up a little bit. I don't think it's going to give it a true matte finish. Even if it did, it's fine. Don't mind my lovely dry feet for the summer. Um, so yeah, I'm liking it a lot. So again, I'll go back in and touch up, you know, some of the grout areas to make that stand out a little bit more white. And then, you know, I'll get some of the paint off of everything. Um, I have a razor blade, it'll peel right off. I'm not worried about that. So, yep, I am definitely liking this a lot more than just the bright color. For some people, this is maybe what they want. They just want that bright, very modern look. I don't because you can see um, I have a little bit more of a rustic feel to everything in here. So I just kind of like how it contrasts. And because I like that, as you can see the lovely old brown tile that when I paint this white, I'll probably just do a little bit of the wash over this too, just to give it a little bit more of a gray look and a little bit more texture. And then I'll add more of that black antiquing gel eventually into the nooks and crannies of the um, accent tile. Okay, thanks.